Hello, I'm Barry John. Welcome back to Let's Play Descent 2. I have two co-pilots and I'll let them introduce themselves. It's Laylight, again, again. And Solitaire as always. Does that say Lugard or Lovegard? Lou. Okay. L O U. So yeah, this guy is our homing missile hulk of the game. It's green, not red. As a hulk. It looks kinda be. bored to see you instead of angry. Yeah. And sorry for showing you the save game screen there. Because you can't save in the uh, secret level, I have to actually complete I complete the secret level, save to the start of this level, and then I had to basically, you know, I because I... Oh, by the way, yes, I did just dodge homing missiles. Yeah. Sweet. You, uh, you kind of went forward and diagonally beside it. It didn't turn well enough to get you. That's nice. Yeah. But, sorry, as I was saying, uh, whenever I go into the secret level, can't save in the secret level, so I have to finish the secret level, save after leaving the secret level, uh, then go back, do my video processing, don't do record, don't record multiple uh, videos at the same, or multiple levels at the same time, guys, it just, it, it just stresses you out, or stresses me out at least. And so then when I come back to replay this level to record it, I start recording, and then I have to splice together my rec my actual level recording onto the end of the level open that I recorded at the end of the secret level. Oh hey, new toy already. A new, ret an old returning toy, actually. The fusion cannon, which actually got nerfed. Yeah, I heard uh, about that. Basically, the original fusion cannon, each of the individual shots would deal like 30 damage each when you, uh, ow, 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 jeez, when you uh, fired it off. It now deals something like 20 damage each when you fire it off, or something ridiculously low like that. And there's a hard limit to the amount of damage you can get by charging it up. Yeah. So... The question is, does it kill things in front of you anymore? No. The, the, oh. the fusion weapon is basically the one-shot maximum firepower you can pull out. But it no longer... But basically, it's more of a short-range... I almost want to say it's now the shotgun of the game. You know that whole short-range, high-damage output? Yeah, I guess you're less likely to miss at point blank, but they just got done introducing a weapon which you don't want to use energy weapons on at close range, uh, those melee guys. Yeah. I mean, I guess this way you'd only be hitting them once, but still. But yeah, earlier the fusion cannon was like the go-to weapon for high health enemies that you were slow, that you could hit with it. But yeah, basically you so, could circle strafe around. And I guess to an extent it's still okay at that, but now you have the boss cannon, so what do you need the fusion cannon for? Uh, you have the boss cannon, what do you need any other weapon for? I mean, seriously, look how many uh, ammo drops I'm getting for the Vulcan gun right now. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Giving the player more ammo is good, because running out of ammo isn't fun. But, yeah, it seems if like you, you have this much boss cannon ammo, energy. what do you need the other weapons for? Yeah, it seems like you should just be saving your energy for the shield converter. That's what I'd do. And yeah, that's another good point. Uh, that's actually something that I start doing later on, is basically, you know, uh, I only break out the energy weapons when I, like the helix gun, when I need to deal with, you know, 13 bazillion enemies all at once. But then, usually I default to, here's the Gauss cannon, and, oh, I've got 100 ammo, or 100 whatever, how much energy. Hold down the T button and make some shields. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool feature for when you you feel like you're clever, like you're getting more health that way, but it kind of seems like it's leading to a little bit of degenerate... Uh, well, I, I guess it's too early to make that call, but... You know, it, it gives you more incentive to not use your lasers so much, I guess, which is a little unfortunate. Because mm -hmm. this... you would think that the earlier design of, like, regenerating your energy from drops in the energy center would make you want to shoot your lasers a whole lot so you could kill everything in front of you. This you know, a game is just more fun when you can hold down the uh, fire button and go full auto, am I right? 
says every pyro player in in, uh, in uh, Team Fortress 2 ever. This music's pretty relaxing considering this is a boss level. Shh, we don't tell people it's the boss level. Oops. But yeah. Uh, well, now wait a second. Wasn't there, uh, there were some robots that were on that uh, display there. There's like a red guy with those three pods. Yep. You're so, yes, you are seeing... Are we going to be seeing him? Yes, actually. Okay. Uh, but, okay, so the general layout of this level is there's these rings that we're flying through right now, but they are actually in these doors to my right that I don't bother to me to open up. It's because, you know, the, that's where the boss fight room is, and I'm just ignoring them because, well, I can't get into the boss fight room yet. Oh, so that's that same room that that uh, Lou guard was in uh, way back at the beginning of the level. Mm -hmm. Also, me saying, yeah, I know these guys are going to trigger them when I grab stuff. By the way, I think you just hurt yourself with your own Goss Cannon there. Yeah, that's the one downside to the Goss Cannon is that, you know, you're going to hurt yourself with it if you fire danger close. Well, not too badly, though. Yeah. Not as bad as overcharging the fusion cannon. True. Mm. But yeah, I just want you guys to have a look at my Gauss cannon ammo count right now. Yes, that's over 33,000 shots, or uh, points of ammo. That's so I think you could hold down that fire button for at least, like, 15 seconds and not run out, I think. Fif I could be pretty much, basically, you know, that's like two or three minutes of full, you know, hold down the trigger, everybody's dying type deal. And, you know, I do like flash missiles. I really do. Using them, that oh, is. Okay. It looks like you got a decent amount of value out of those mines, although there's still some cleanup to do. Yeah, but when you've got two spawners like that... Yeah, that looked like it did cut down on it a little bit. But hey, I'm not going to argue too much with, uh, you know, look how many shield drops I just got. <laughs> ah, arrows. Yep. This game is just full of friendly features, isn't it? Oh god, oh god, oh god, ow! Oh, yeah, friendly, friendly features. Yeah, this would be a great time to use the converter. I love how those, uh... Claw guys actually kind of knock you back a little bit and kind of grind you against the wall and uh, pursue you. I don't think they really did that in uh, the previous game. Not really. They kind of just drilled into you in place, but this way it's more visceral. Very true. But yeah, this is me just checking out the map there, because I just want to make sure that this was the only hostages I needed to rescue. Yeah, I'm, I definitely don't like this r red heat, or uh, the die you enemy there. The, uh, this particular targeting radical. I think I'm going to change it up for the next level. Uh, oh. Uh, you gotta say the like. This is the fourth level of the game, technically the fifth if you want to include the secret level, and it's a lot more complicated and, I want to say, oh crap, this hallway. Crap, 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 crap. It seems like there's more blind corners and, like, more complicated, uh, uh, cover systems, covers to take, I guess. Yeah. Like, there aren't, like, it isn't, like, how do I explain this? There's not a ton of organic uh, corners, like this isn't a cave system, but it's a reasonably complicated facility level, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So, this room is a trap. This room is a giant, colossal, yeah. you are going it to... It looks great. It's a huge energy regenerator room. With the, the spawners, the spawners trigger when you come into that little hideaway corridor coming in. The spawners trigger. Oh, that one in the ceiling, or no, the no, one no. you're in now? The one I was in uh, to come when I first came in, like down this way. Oh. Uh, that triggers the spawners, which I stupidly turned around and came back through into because I'm stupid. Uh, it also triggers when you leave the room and go up the other corridor to, at the other end there. Oh, so it's a minor punishment for backtracking too. Uh. 
the enemies in this game can chase you down, and they will chase you down. Yeah, it doesn't seem like those red guys are too aggressive, but certainly the uh, Class 1 drones will keep pestering you until you get rid of them. Yeah. Uh, but, like, oh, here we go. For, oh. First use of the guided missile in the game. Yeah, now you don't even have to have a direct line on that uh, Lugar to shoot him. You can just do it from around a corner. Whereas the holy missile, you'd have to kind of get in line with him. Yeah. Mm. And I just dropped a And it looked like that guy was actually chasing after you as soon as he got damaged, too. It, That's interesting. Mm -hmm. It knew I was there. It knew I was dealing damage to it. So it went around to go, yeah, I'm going to hurt you now. I love the cheek of a mega missile. Thankfully, it doesn't look like he has that much health, though. No. So are you yeah, saying about the mega missile? A, I love the cheek of having a secret door behind another secret door. That's probably for the best that you're getting rid of that guy now. Oh, they know what's going on. They're, they they want to see what's going on there. Yeah. Now, here's the thing about this grating. Uh, if you are lucky, you can put a uh, guided missile through the gaps of the grate. Oh, without even opening the door? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And that, that can lead to some very interesting sequence breaks. Um, yeah. Um, they had greats like this in Descent 1, which was actually pretty, like, revolutionary for the time. But I think this game really heavily goes in on the whole shooting through greats mechanic. Oh, yeah. So, welcome to the boss room. I am GTFOing right away because I want to get up here first. Mostly because, ow! Mm. Oh, it's these little guys again. Oh, those little guys are going to be everywhere from now on, but... Well, I mean, that's usually rule one against the boss, is take cover and figure out what it's doing. Mm-hmm. But there is the... I can hear it already. Yep. But as I was saying, uh, there's the secret exit to this level there that I uh, walked around, or I've ignored for the most part. Because it won't do anything. No. I actually... Do I fly into it? Yes, I do. This is what happens when you fly into a teleporter that, uh... Ah! Cozy. Yep. So, uh, hitting that switch opened up that big gap down there, and this is the boss fight. Ah, a real arena. Yep. So, step one. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Duck. Weave. Get around. Get away. Because I may be fighting a boss. Oh, so they actually do let you leave the arena if you want. Mm-hmm. And it... I mean, I guess you have to come back if you're going to fight that thing. Maybe. True. So, the boss fight. This guy throws around flash missiles. He teleports. And he throws around those uh, pseudo-seeking orange shots that come off of my smart minds. Mm. But here's the thing. When you shoot him with an energy weapon, he starts throwing out plasma shots like uh, the driller. Or not the drillers, the claw guys. The claw guys. Yeah. Oh, all right. So he's got some missiles on him, but it didn't look like he's killing you instantly or anything like that. Oh, ow. Oh, jeez. But no, he's not going to kill me instantly. What he is going to do is, you know, he's a warm-up boss. Yeah, he's, you know... Business end. Keep the business end away from you. Yeah. And he's taking some damage, but, uh... Yeah. But you can see how just yeah. much plasma he's throwing up because I'm hitting him with the energy And weapons. they're definitely giving you enough room to actually do this correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks like he's spawning friends, too. He is. Yeah. Now, but still, not too bad. Sorry, yeah. one second here. I'm just trying to remember my way, the exit path here. Uh, was so, this way? Yeah. For now, the bosses are not quite as hard as the ones in Descent 1. Trust me, that will change. Yeah. There we go, that's the exit I need. God damn it, John, I thought you cut out all those save points. So, that was level 4. Nice. Uh, pretty smooth. Five systems to go. Yep, 25 levels. And I will see. No job well done. Yep. 
that was Robbie Station, and I'll see you guys all next time.